this short video on SPS Total Station Troubleshooting is going to talk about problems with prism tracking. First we'll cover the problem. Uh, this will be the instrument not locking onto or tracking a target or the correct target. Then we'll talk about the types of tracking available um, because this will be important with the following discussion. Then we'll talk about causes and solutions available to us when we're not tracking our target correctly. Three problems we might face are the SPS total station cannot find my target, the SPS total station loses tracking lock of my target, and the SPS total station is locking onto other targets or objects. The following slides will discuss the types of tracking available. Passive tracking. Passive tracking uses a non-powered reflective prism or tape or material. The total station locks on to the strongest reflective signal and a static measurement is required. Active tracking. An active tracking mode needs an active or powered prism with LEDs in it. Uh, prism LEDs send out a signal on a dedicated selected channel with eight channels available to choose from. Observations are taken using LEDs, which means faster measurements and shots can be taken while the target is moving. Active plus tracking. Active plus tracking is very similar to active mode. Uh, it needs an active prism, which is powered and has LEDs in it. Active plus combines active tracking with a momentary static observation in passive mode. This has the benefit of target identification and tracking of an active target and also has improved accuracy of a passive target observation. You must be stationary when taking the observation. The following slides will talk about the causes of these tracking issues and some solutions. First we'll look at SPS total station cannot find my target. If your total station is having problems uh, tracking you all together, could be a problem with the defined target search window. When you define this window, make sure that it's not too large, in which case it takes ages to search through the whole pattern to find your prism. On the other hand, when you define this window, make sure that it's not too small so that you're not within the window. Ideally, that you want to define the upper and lower extents of your window so that you're fully enclosed within it and it won't take long to find the prism. If you're using active mode, check the LED channel to make sure it's correct and matching the total station. Otherwise, during the, the total station search, it will pass over the prism altogether. The next problem we'll look at is if the SPS total station loses the tracking lock of my target. The total station losing tracking lock of your target could be due to obstructions. Uh, check the line of sight from your prism to your total station to make sure there's nothing getting in the way. Uh, this could be things like tree branches or vegetation, particularly on kind of windy days and windy conditions. Could be smoke or dust from nearby machinery working. Uh, could be traffic or pedestrians uh, walking or parking vehicles, etc., in the way. If you're using active mode, uh, check that the battery hasn't gone flat since you started work and check that the channel uh, dial is still set to the correct channel. This may have been bumped accidentally or may be set incorrectly. The next problem we'll look at is the SPS total station locking onto other targets or objects. In passive mode, it's possible for the total station to lock on to reflective surfaces nearby. Uh, this could be a reflective vest, uh, could be reflective tape on a road cone or sign. Uh, so the ways to minimise this are to um, cover your vest momentarily, uh, make sure there's no reflective objects in the background or foreground. Uh, you could try raising the target well above your head height to keep it clear of any reflective surfaces. Or you could use active mode. Uh, when in active mode, make sure that the total station locks onto the correct target by making sure any other active prisms on site are using a different channel. That concludes this short video. Thank you for watching.